Hey, we had this question come up in our live chat, but I thought we could do a video on it, even though we answered it in the live chat. And it's all about single post templates and how, what if you want to have a sidebar or maybe underneath the post that shows related posts? However, if you've got categories in your posts, you only want the related post to show what it relates to the single post. So let me explain. Over here, we've got four posts. These are all fake and three of them go to the screen category and one of them to the post category. Yeah, I know, very imaginative. Let's say you went and clicked on post three. When you have the related posts, doesn't matter where it is on the screen, you only want to see the these uh, post four and post one. You don't want to see post three again, and you also don't want to see post two, because post two is posts. And if you were to click on post two, you would go to it, but, you, and, but in the related bit, you wouldn't see any items because number one, you don't want to see post two again because you're already in it. But you also don't want to see post four, one or three either because they're nothing to do with posts. They are screens. How do you do this? It's actually really, really easy. You don't need any plugin. You don't need any fancy code. This is all out the box of what you can do with Elementor. What you're going to do is create a template and you're going to then duplicate it for every category. But the real trick or the real funky bit comes with what you do with the query part of the posts widget. We are using Elemental. I'm in Man Web Squadron. Like and subscribe. Let's go and have a look. Let's go over to templates. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a brand new one. I'm going to call it a single post. And we're going to call this one a screens cat uh, SP. The single, in fact, no, we'll put post like that. Um, yeah, and that's all we'll do and we'll hit create template. So I'm going to drop in a container and I'm going to do this really, really quickly. All right, I'm not going to spend any time messing around with styling or anything like that. I'm just going to get, uh, where's my content? There it is, pop the post content in as well. Just going to give this a bit of a box whip, something like that. So let's just say, right, you're building everything out, you're putting in your social sharing and all of that. And now you want to show related posts. Now you could have it as a sidebar by having another container in there, or you could pop it at the bottom. Bottom. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to get the posts widget like that. Now, when you drop in the post widget, you can, you know, make it look as funky as you want. You could have it as a single column. You could show two posts, three posts, whatever you want. But now we're going to restrict this to only work for the screens widget. OK, so remember, everything at the moment is all sat within this one container. What you need to do is on the content bit, go to the query tab. And over here now is where we can actually specify the category. So I'm going to say include term and we are only going to show the screens. There you go. The screens category. So now this will only show post four, one and three. But we've all we're already on post four. So I don't want to see post four. Does that make sense? I only want to see post one and three. So over here you have the exclude tab. I click that and I say exclude the current post. Look. Four has disappeared from the below bit. Then I just go over here and I go to display conditions. And what I want to ensure is it might be, it might look like this when you first start off. You're going to add a condition and rather than applying it to every single post template, you're going to go over here and say, apply it to in category. And then I will type in the word scroll and it will pick it up. That will now be applicable to screens. In fact, I'm just going to hit save and close. And just to make a point, I am going to give this a background color of, uh, no, I haven't got, I haven't, this is, this is a fake website. Let me just go and put in a bit of a gray there. Okay. So we've got a bit of a gray color going on there. I am then going to copy that, copy that. Okay. I will then go back to my template and we can see there we have the screens category single post. I am then going to create a brand new one. By the way, don't just duplicate what you got because it doesn't always work like that. You've got to ensure you set the template type. I'm going to call this one post cat s post. You could do some proper naming here, right? We're going to create the template. Again, we're not going to use anything that's pre-existing because we're just going to paste a copy of what we had basically done before, which is why it's easy to build it and then just recreate it. So if you've got 10 categories, just do it 10 times. It doesn't take long once you've done it once. I'm going to go and change the background of this because, uh, again, just to make a point that one of them's grey and one of them isn't. We're going to click onto the post widget at the bottom, go to the query. And now this has currently got the screens category. 
this, what we're going to do is basically get rid of what we got there, type in post so it picks up the post category. And when it comes to exclude, again, ensure that it has not got the current post. Now you're going to say that's got post four. Why? Because all it's doing is bringing in a preview post, but don't worry about that. Okay, seriously, don't worry about that. Just ensure your include is the right category and you're excluding the current post. And then what you wanna do is go to display conditions, add condition uh, in category again, and then just type post. There you go, categories post, and hit save and close. And, and that is basically it. And here we go to a really ugly looking post archive page where I've just popped in the post widget. If I now click on post number four, you can see post four, you got the featured image there. And look, you got post one and three that are within the screen's category. If I go to post three, again, you can only see post four and one from the screen category. And if I click on post two, we get the white background template. Remember, we did a different color. And look, you get the image and the content or, you know, forget how rubbish it looks but down here there is no look if I scroll down there is no related post because there was only one post for that category this is a really simple easy way of setting up individual category pages in a way with related posts that relate to that category all for free well, when I say free, it's all within Elementor, okay? But you're not having to do additional coding or an additional plugin or anything fancy. Hey, I'm Imran, Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bag.